This is the American on ESPN Plus from Clearwater, Florida. It is semifinal Saturday in the American Baseball Championships. It's game number two between ECU and USF today. We are going to play all 14 games in this championship tournament. It started out on Tuesday after three teams in the bottom part of the standings won. The one and the two made their way back through the losers bracket. And seven and eight were waiting. USF and Tulane earlier today. It was ECU knocking off South Florida. That forces games 13 and 14. I'm Jeff Wrightwood alongside Patrick and Murray. And there's no more what if we win, what if we lose. Will we play this afternoon or not? We are here, the winner going to the championship. There we go. Winner moves on. East Carolina got a great pitching performance. They have the best pitching depth in the conference. Got a great performance from Garrett Saylor, shutting down the hottest offense in the tournament so far in South Florida this, this morning. The Pirates stay alive. And now they're going to turn to Wyatt Lunsford Shankman on the mound, making his first start of the season for the Pirates. 26 relief appearances this year. He's got a 2.86 ERA and 43 strikeouts in 44 innings against just nine walks. We mentioned that South Florida offense. They were hot the first two games, scored 27 runs. Let's take a look at the Bulls batting order, brought to you by the B1 Sports Performance Patch from USA Natural Patches. Same lineup they've been going with all week long. They've gotten some great contributions from the bottom of that order with Rodell and Rosenblum. Their most talented guys are at the top in Bozer and Snow. Well, we'll see if the USF Bulls offense can get back going. We'll see what ECU has as far as pitching depth. And that's what the Pirate Nation thinks about Garrett Sater earlier today. He kind of went into legend status uh, getting them through today with that outstanding eight-plus inning performance. Now they're saying he's a hero. They were, one guy was talking about building a statue of Garrett Sater if they end up winning this this conference tournament, Pirates looking to repeat as American Conference Tournament champions. Sailor went eight innings, gave up just two hits and one earned run in that earlier game. The Pirates have already used their, their top two starters yesterday. Josh Groves and Trey Savage needed them to get through a 13-inning win over UCF. Justin Wilcoxon walked it off for the Pirates in the 13th to get them to today. Sailor got them into this game. And East Carolina looking to get past South Florida. The Bulls looking to get back to the conference championship game where, where they won the conference tournament in 2021. Well, the winners play tomorrow noon Eastern on ESPN News for the championship. And whoever wins this game will play the winner, uh, the Houston and Tulane matchup. That was the offensive ball game. Uh, they traded leads a couple times, but it was Houston that regained the lead late and held off the Tulane Green Wave. So we're going to see between both of these teams what they have left pitching-wise and which offense can really get generated. Ready to go here in game 13. First pitch underway at 4-11 Eastern. Big swing and a miss that time by Bobby Bozer. Lunsford Shankman will be right around 90 with his fastball. Mixes in multiple breaking balls. Counting it up now at one and one. Hunsford Shankman. They've got the shift on to the left side. Here is the right-hander's pitch. Leaves it low, two and one. First start of the season for Lunsford Shankman. Typically comes out of the pen, but he has given ECU some longer outings, some three-plus inning outings, his longest one was five innings against Cincy when he did not allow a hit. 2-1 leaves it low. So Lunsford Chinkman on the mound while Coxon behind the plate over at first is going to be Moylan starting at second. Bernie at short, Makarevich at third. Jenkins Cowart, Hoover, Cunningham left to right in the outfield for the Pirates. Three one, hitters count. And a walk him to lead off the ball game. Bozer, eight of nine on stolen bases, drawing his 28th walk of the year. Bozer has really improved his plate discipline this season, his strike zone knowledge, knowing what pitches he wants to hit. He does a great job there being a leadoff, letting his teammates see a lot of pitches, drawing a leadoff walk. 
Well, Coxon's thrown out 18 behind the plate. That one's going to be down and away. So he's thrown six pitches. Five have been balls to start out the ball game. Eric Snow, 346, eight home runs, 45 drove it in for the freshman. They look for two up the middle. Quick throw over to first. They have Starling pinching up the middle just a bit. They've turned, ECU has 24 games, uh, 24 double plays this year. Chopper is high, shallow in the infield, the only play at first. And Barini goes that way in time. And there's one out as Bozer goes to second base. Well, South Florida's got an early runner in scoring position now here in the first inning. Bozer's got some speed, and Barini does a really good job of charging this ball. Come and get it, it's a high hop, and it makes a nice off balance throw to get the first out. Here is Brutcher, the right fielder. 293, 13 overs, 43 driven in. That wind still gusting out the right field like it did in the prior game. Tulane and Houston took advantage of it. They had three leadoff home runs alone in that ball game. Here is the 0 1. You see where, where's the gold jerseys again? Here's the 0 1 pitch. Taking his time. They went back to the hotel, we were told, between games. They went back to the hotel and washed them. Get that April fresh smell out here. So didn't want to wear the dirty jerseys two times in a row. Sometimes, like, you say, don't wash the jerseys, gonna, don't do anything. I was going to say, I'm surprised they wash them. <laughs> Baseball's a superstitious game. That's why they're going back to the gold, because it worked. You won in them, so they're wearing them. I'm surprised they let them wash them. But it's okay. You want to be clean and fresh, feeling good. They've played well. They've worn them several times this week already. Brutcher had in the count two and one, looking to drive in Bozer. Fouled it off left side. That will get out of play. Brutcher, a 390 hitter with runners in scoring position. Brutcher came through clutch with the game winning hit for South Florida on Tuesday in the 11th inning to beat East Carolina. Barini on the right side of the infield. Outside, three and two. Rutgers got to think opposite field here. He's got that hole where the shortstop normally would be, and Lunsford Jenkman also throw a lot of off speed breaking balls. Hits it hard to second. Starlings. Play over to first in time. That'll move Bozer over to third. Two away to face Rafael Betancourt. Once for Shankman throws him one of those breaking balls there, and Brutcher just rolls over on it for the second out. Rafael Betancourt has really been a great find for South Florida, a guy that they thought might redshirt this year, take some time to develop, but instead he's gotten in the lineup and hit 320 for him. High fly ball into center. That'll send Hoover back. He'll camp up under it, and that will end the inning. No runs, no hits, no airs. A runner left on base. Bulls and the Pirates, they're both here. Who's going to play tomorrow?